So the app we're going to be talking about today is called App Verifier. It's useful if you download APKs without an app store and install them on your device, or if you use something like Obtainium to obtain apps directly from repositories or different sources. It's useful to add one more layer of verification to the APKs that you download. So this is the official repository for App Verifier. And if we check the description here, we can see App Verifier takes the app's package name and the signing certificates, hashes, and compares them to the ones you provided or the ones in the internal database to verify that your apps are genuine. So while that description might be a little bit confusing, let's walk through a demonstration of how to use it. So the first step in order to use it is to install it. And we can see here on the GitHub repository, the recommended way to download it is to get it on a Crescent. If you're on Graphene OS and you don't have a Crescent installed yet, you can swipe up, go to the App Store, and install a Crescent from there. Once you do install a Crescent, you can open the app, scroll down to App Verifier, go ahead and install it. And now once that's installed, we can go into the app. The first thing is the privacy policy. Give it a read over, then accept it. It's kind of just saying there's no warranty. It's provided as is and what it does. Continue. So on the main screen, the first thing we have is an app list. And what this does is shows all the current apps you have installed on your user profile. In my case, I have Obtainium and a Crescent installed. We can see here there are two green check marks next to the app. If you select the app, we can see the a Crescent hash was verified using the internal database. You can select success if you want to see details on how it was matched. So this is a great way to verify apps you currently have installed in your device. The next one is verify APK file. So if you have some APKs you downloaded, you can manually verify them there. And the last one is settings. Just give those a read over if you want. So the main way I think most people will use App Verifier is in conjunction with Obtainium. So for the example, I'm going to install local send. So I'm going to paste the repository in here. Select the APK. Once it's ready, select install. It's automatically shared to App Verifier, so that's convenient. We can see here local send. It was verified using the internal database. Success. You can then swipe back and go ahead and install your app as you normally would. Another way you can use App Verifier is to manually verify APKs. So let's say you want to download the Signal APK. We're going to download it here from their site. Once it's downloaded, we can go into the App Verifier app, select Verify APK. We can find our download. Then when we select it again, you can see it was successfully verified using the internal database. One more feature I want to show you is down here you can verify from Clipboard. So in the case of Signal, they publish the hash for the APK on their site. We can see it here, so we'll just copy it. And if we go back to App Verifier, and then we select Verify from Clipboard, paste it in there, we can see verification status, success. And so the reason that Verify from Clipboard is useful is that not all apps are inside the internal database. So as another example, if we go ahead and download the Standard Notes APK from their repository, once that finishes, again, App Verifier, Verify APK, if we select that new APK we downloaded, we can see internal database status not found. So this is kind of the crux of App Verifier. If the certificate hash for an app is not inside the internal database, then you need to go hunt around for it and find it. Unfortunately, most developers don't publish it anywhere, so you really do need to look for it and hope you can find it. In a best case scenario, which I'll use App Verifier as an example, we can see here in the readme, the developer does post the certificate hash there. In addition, they also post it in a third party location, which is great. So we can see it can be found on a blue sky post. And if we open that, we have the matching certificate hash. The reason it being in a third party location is beneficial is that let's say someone does compromise the GitHub account for this app. They upload a new APK. They also would update the certificate hash as well so that the malicious one is there so that if someone does try to verify it, they verify with the incorrect one. Posting in a third party location now means that two different accounts need to be compromised, which is much less likely than just compromising one account. But now getting back to the main reason why we are talking about this, 
Unfortunately, there's not much more you could do. You could ask the developer to publish it on the repository or on one of their social media accounts for verification. The other option is you download it from a trusted source. So say I download standard notes from Google Play in a separate user profile. I install App Verifier. I check the certificate hash here, and then I compare it on my other user profile from my app downloaded from GitHub. And honestly, that's a lot to do. I personally don't do that. I just trust the APK I download from GitHub. It's not the best practice, but hey, not perfect. And unfortunately, if we check the contribution guide down here, contribution of new apps to the internal verification info database won't be accepted at this time. Hopefully that changes in the future and maybe the developer is building some system for submissions or some way to check better or verify better. But until then, if it's not found in the internal database, just need to hope the developer of App Verifier adds it. So with all that being said, I still think this is a great app and it has a lot of potential. So check it out, see if it fits in your workflow. And if you have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below and I will see you next time.